Hello. Hi guys, today's video is gonna be like those what I spent in a week videos but shorter. I've been trying to film these for a while but my footages are not glamorous nor dramatic. There's no shopping happening or fun activities, which is pretty true as most of my spending goes to groceries, dinings, and um, DoorDash. So I thought it would be a good time to film it today because I have a dinner plan with my friends exploring a new restaurant in Manhattan and I have time making my favorite autumn sandwich. With that said, breakfast to me is usually something quick and easy. It really varies on the days and today I'm craving for some taro balls. It's more of an item in a category of desserts, but my argument is that if I have it as the first thing I ate, then it is a breakfast. This is the first time I try to steam the whole pumpkin without cutting it because it's giving me such a struggle when I try to chop the raw pumpkin, right? It's so hard to cut through, man. Um, and it worked. When I have time and I don't want to spend money to buy lunch, I prepare myself a sandwich and since this is the perfect autumn season, I'm gonna make the pumpkin egg salad sandwich. This dish is just a lot of smashing and just make sure the pumpkin and the egg are all boiled or steamed. So smash the egg and then add some pumpkins, mix them together with mayo, pepper and salt. The proportion is not fixed. Anything that I cook does not have a proportion and I even change some of the ways or ingredients that I do it every time because I hate doing repetitive things. The only golden rule is that adding more mayo would make the salad taste better as we all know. You can either eat it by itself or make it into the sandwich. To add some fiber, I just took an extra healthy step today and I probably threw in too much that um, it's just grassy. Surprisingly, I haven't spent much until this point of the day. I usually walk a lot um, and try to avoid the subway because it's just like stinky and dirty and there is a high chance of seeing mice. But today I am in a hurry, so I'm taking the subway. And this restaurant is a Chinese bistro that's just opened up and it features Shanghainese food, which is my hometown food and I'm exciting to try it out. But the proportion, um, it's just incredibly small. Look at my fist around it. So the dish of this size and also their interior design, their features on cocktails and drinks just reminds me of Spanish tapa. So if you're going there expecting a very heavy Chinese meal, this is not the place. But if you're considering this place just to hang out with your friends, have a few drinks uh, while having some great Chinese food, then this would be the enjoyable place for you. I actually love to see more of those Chinese fusion restaurants that pays attention and have the emphasis on interiors, drinks, quality foods and the overall cleanness. 
下扣肉，啊，对，真特别特真的很好吃，龙虾扣肉。哎，他们家有一个爆炒那个牛牛条牛排吗？是不是？爆炒牛条应该应该是。哇，炒的好好吃，里面是五分熟的，超好吃。嗯，这锅饭好吃。很，还蛮神奇，它没有给你很油腻的感觉。对，一般性都会有一点比较油。它油的少、嗯，我觉得有点符合西方人的那个口味。嗯。你的饭，饭没上来，菜点上这样子。Because the majority of Chinese restaurants, when we talk about it, you would immediately think of oh, dirty environment, bad service, poor communication, but good food, right? And it really creates this illusion that China is like that. I'm not saying that it's totally not, but if a lot of the restaurants over there are actually on another level of interior design and service. So. I'm really glad to see more of those happening right here. This restaurant has done a great job combining some of the tradition with a more open approach. Well, obviously, we are not seeing this perfect ending to this dinner yet, and so we ran to K Town and grabbed some ice cream. This ice cream place is weird in a sense that it gets crowded and crowded towards midnight. It really has a lot of fun flavors that you don't see in other stores. I wanted to have some chocolate ice cream, but they don't have chocolate. Money saved. Okay, this part is unexpected. Where my roommate's mom kindly surprised us with food again. The Chinese Mooncake Festival. Well, it's not Mooncake Festival, but the Mid Autumn Festival. Even though it was just one day, but the period of us eating mooncake is just like very long. Harbin Shipping. Masako Saka. And this one is something that I have never tried before. The spicy crayfish mooncake. Mala Xiaolongxia Yuebing. There's layers of pastry to the outside. The crayfish is actually wrapped by pork. It's giving the hot pot vibe. It's spicy, but not too much. Thank you to my roommate's mom for always supporting us. So that's today's video. Looking back, I've had a lot of food, but surprisingly, not spending that much today. And if you're Interested to see more food spots and food vlogs? Check these out,、um, and I'll see you in the next video.